Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is graphing exponential functions, and exponential functions are in the form of y equals or f of x equals a times b to the x. And notice x is in the exponent here, and b has to be some positive number. It can't be zero, uh, neither can a, but a can be negative, uh, and, it, and it has to be um, greater than zero. It can't be zero, and it can't be one also. So um, uh, here we're going to use the symbol to sideways 8, and it represents infinity. And we can describe what's called end behavior of a function by describing what happens to the function uh, values as x approaches positive infinity. And so x is left and right movement when we go on a graph. So when x approaches positive infinity, that's going to the right, way over here. And when x approaches negative infinity, that's going way over here. And this is how we write. x approaches positive infinity, x approaches negative infinity. Okay. So we're going to graph each exponential function, and then after graphing, we're going to identify uh, a and b. So we're going to identify this number and this number right here, and the y-intercept and the end behavior of the graph. So we have several of them to graph right here. So here's the first one, y equals 2 to the, two to the x. Yeah. Now is this a or is this b right here? A, um, uh, f, here's y equals, or f of x equals, a times b to the x. Okay, this is actually B, so A is actually 1. When there's no number there, it's understood to be uh, 1. So here it is written right here, 1 times 2 to the x right there, okay? So A is 1 and B is uh, that 2 right there. Okay, so let's graph it. Here's a table right here. We're going to uh, uh, make a table with several x values, and we're just choosing negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 right here. So we'll plug them in. So let's do 2 to the negative 1. Well, remember, 2 to the negative 1 is 1 over 2 to the positive positive 1, and then so that's just 1 half, so it's 0.5, all right? So let's plug in x equals 0. Anything to the 0 equals 1, so y equals 1 f of x equals 1. Okay, so let's plug in um, uh, x equals 2. So remember, x is our exponent. So 2 to the first is 2, and then finally 2 to the second is 4. Okay, so let's graph these guys right here. So there they are right there. And exponential graphs, you guys, always makes a sort of a J curve. Now our J curve will go up like this. Sometimes it'll go down like this. Sometimes it'll be on the bottom and it goes like this and then sometimes it'll be over here and it goes like this and it 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 it, it in increasingly gets close to infinitely gets close to the x axis it will never cross the x axis so it gets closer and closer and closer to y equals 0 that's what the x axis is right there. Okay, so here's this one right here. This is f of x equals 2 to the x right here. Okay, and it says identify what a is. Okay, well, remember a is. Um, uh, a is uh, that 1 right there, and B is that 2 right there, and our y-intercept is right there when x equals 0. So when x equals 0, we get y equals 1, so our y-intercept is at 0, 1. It's where it crosses the y-axis right there. Okay, and then the end behavior, you guys, the end behavior is this. As x goes this way, that's to infinity, what's y doing? Y is going up. This graph is going up and to the right. I was afraid I was going to do that. It's going up and to the right. So as x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity. And, and as x goes to negative infinity, go this way forever and ever and ever, this graph sinks way down and it gets closer and closer and closer to the x-axis. And that's why it gets close to zero right there. Okay. These will never cross the x-axis. Exponential graphs will never cross the x-axis. They'll look like they will, but they'll just get increasingly infinitely close to the x-axis and never cross it. All right, let's try another one. Okay, so y equals 3 times 4 to the x. Okay, so we're going to plug in those x values. Here's um, uh, when we plug in negative 1. 4 to the negative 1 is 1 over 4 to the positive 1. 3 times 1 fourth is 3 fourths. For graphing is uh, uh, 0.75. And then when we plug in 0, anything to the 0 equals 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Plug in 1. So uh, 4, 3, or 4 to the first is 4 times 3 is 12. Remember, we got to do the exponents first. So 4 squared is 16, and then 3 times 16 is 48. Well, how are we going to graph that? Well, what we did is um, uh, uh, we did every two spaces. So this is 7 and a half right here. And so so this would be 15, this would be 22 and a half, 30, 
37 and a half, 45. So we're just adding seven and a half every time. So 48 is going to be right around up here, right there. Okay. So when we graph all those points, there they are, right there. Okay. So here's a negative 1.75. It's barely above the x-axis. Here's 0.3. Here's 112, um, here's that 248, so so here's that guy right there, okay? Now, this actually never crosses the x-axis. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. It increasingly, infinitely gets close to, and it just starts hovering right above the x-axis. Okay, so identify A and B. So A is that 3 right there. There's A, there's B, B is that 4, and the y-intercept is when x equals 0, so it's 0, 3 right there, and then as x X goes this way, Y goes this way, so as X goes to infinity, Y goes to infinity, and as X goes to negative infinity, Y goes to zero. Okay, let's try something else when, when A is negative, okay? We'll plug in um, uh, negative one and get that Y value, plug in uh, zero, plug in X equal one, plug in X equal two, so when we graph those guys, that's going to give us those points right here, and so that graph is looking like that, okay? So this will never cross the x-axis, so as x goes this way, y is getting closer to zero, but from the negative side, but it's still zero. But as x goes to positive infinity, y is going to negative infinity. It's shooting down, down there. Okay, here's a. a is negative 2. b is that 3 right there. And the y-intercept is when x equals zero, so it's at 0, 2 right there. Okay, and there's our n behavior. All right, let's try this, you guys. So this time we're going to do a, a number that's between 0 and 1. Just remember, b can't be 1. But it can be a decimal or it could be a fraction right there. So let's plug in uh, negative 1. When we plug in negative 1, okay, so, um, uh, so uh, 0.4 to the negative 1 is 1 over 0.4 to the positive 1, which is 2.5 if you divide 0.4 into 10. It goes up, uh, uh, 40 goes into, I'm sorry, uh, 4 goes into 10 right there. It's the same as 0.4 goes into 1 right there. Anyway, 2.5. Okay, so 2 times 2.5 is 5. Okay, then when we plug in 0, we plug in uh, x equal 1 and plug in x equal 2 right there. Okay, and then uh, when we graph these guys, it's going to look like that right there. So as x goes to positive infinity, y is going to 0. As x goes that way, y goes to 0, there's a, there's b, there's the y-intercept, 0, 2. And as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to positive infinity. As x goes that way, y goes up that way, right there. Okay, and then uh, let's try this right here where we have a negative and a number between 0 and 1. Okay, I'm going to go kind of fast because I'm going to limit it 15 minutes on these. So, so there's x equals 1, get negative 4. There's x equals 2. There's x equals 3. There's x equals 4. Remember, you can pause it if I'm going too fast through this. And then there's the graph of that guy right there. And then the end behavior, there's the y-intercept. There's a, there's b. As x goes to infinity that way, y is coming up to zero right there. And as x goes to negative infinity, y shoots down. y is an up and down movement. x is a left and right movement. So there's that right there. And then so uh, let's describe the end behavior with uh, these exponentials right there. When a was positive and b was greater than 1, it gave us a graph like that. So our end behavior was x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity. x goes to negative infinity, y goes to zero. So that's when a is positive and b is a number greater than 1. When a is negative and b is greater than 1, it gave us a graph that looked like that. And then when a was positive and we had a fraction, it gave us a graph that looked like that. And when a was negative and we had a fraction, it gave us a graph that looked like that. Okay, all our exponential graphs go in one of those four directions. So there's a trick on this, you guys. Any exponential graph, you just got to plug in test x equals 0 and x equals 1. And when you do that, it's going to give us one of these four graphs right there. It's going to be a j that goes up or it goes down or it goes like this or like this. When you plug in x equals 1 and y equal, or x equals 0, x equals 1, graph those points and it'll tell us what's happening here. So here, let's graph this one. Let's test in x equal 1. So if we plug, I'm sorry, x equal 0, x equal 1. So 0, this uh, 4 to the 0 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And then 4 to the first is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So there it is right there. Can you see this graph? It's going to go 
down here never crosses the x-axis so there it is right there and there's your a b and y intercept okay let's try one more you guys so here we're going to do x equals 0 x equal 1 so here's x equals 0 x equal 1 so we plug in 0 anything to the 0 is equal to 1 negative 5 times 1 is negative 5 plug in 1 so 0 0.5 times negative 5 is negative 2.5 so here it is right there there's two points right there there's 0 negative 5 there's 1 comma negative 2.5 so can you see this graph is going something like that right there okay so it looks like that right there alright you guys if you're in my class I would assign that take care hope that helped you guys